And basically, if, uh, I know you're not making rulings today, I'm just trying to explain what I've done. If you look at the information, um, it states the language about knowingly, locally making a false report of child abuse. Yes. And then it says, for the purpose of harassing, embarrassing, or harming another person, contrary to section 39205, so non for statutes. So it's a defense's position that the jury instruction should contain two elements, that the state must prove following two elements beyond a reasonable doubt. One, that um, they avoid uh, knowingly, knowingly and willfully made a false report of child abuse, abandonment, or neglect. Two, for the purpose of harassing, embarrassing, or harming another person. Um, and then that other person you know, does not necessarily have to be named, although I think it would be best practice to do so. And if you haven't done some information, but I believe a simple reading of the information, there clearly seems to be two elements contained in that information. Proving not only the false report, but also for the purpose of harassing, embarrassing, or harming another person. When we look at the case law and you look at the, um, you know, the case law and the statute, it, it seems as though it's, it's directed to stopping vengeful neighbors or spiteful ex wives or grandparents, or someone who's got skin in the game trying to harm another person. Right. That's why I think that second element should be required. So I'm not, I mean, I guess my opinion is one today, uh, but this is the defense of the All right, well, so we'll give the, the, the state an opportunity to review that, and then we can address it. Um, we can address it when we get to the jury instruction.
March 20, 27, and April, and the first week of April. Yes. Are you, are you both available during that time? Um, I spoke to Mr. Ross's office this morning, and we're both available week of the 27th. Oh, right, we do have a demand. It's two days, not a long Right, well, that, right, that's a very short case. Um, and so that would, Mr. Lytle would be going on the 20th. Okay, great. And then the, what else? Wait a minute, I'm looking at February. Okay, it, it does still fall on the 20th. The first day of the calendar, it does still fall on March 20th. Um, so the 27th would be the second week. And obviously, we don't know whether one of the other in that. I'm anticipating it, but yeah. I've seen it yet. We haven't seen it yet. So Mr. Lytle was set on the 20th, and um, that would probably yeah, be pretty straightforward two-day trial. And uh, do you, how long do you all anticipate this case to take? Three, four, eight. So uh, my question is, if the jury goes out on the on the uh, it would the week of March like 22, 23, 24, that the last part of that week, that first week, are you are y'all available for this to do this? Yes, sir.